couple hints here about sanding. When you are sanding, you want to sand with the grain. So if I can zoom in on this here, the grain is the line of the inside the wood for all the little fibers. That is the grain. You want to sand with the grain. If you sand against the grain, you have a crisscross pattern and it looks, it catches the eye and it looks a lot worse. So always sand with the grain if possible. For here, when we're sanding these, I'm gonna start with 120 grit on a sanding block. I just wrapped my sandpaper around my block and I'm gonna start sanding just like this. Keep sanding until you remove all of the burns and all of the pencil marks. Don't forget to sand these top edges and these inside edges here to make sure everything's nice and smooth, and not sharp. When I was filing this piece, a chunk of wood came off the fi round file, caught it and ripped it out. So I'm just gonna make sure I sand that to make it smooth. After all your sanding, this should fit together a little bit easier because you made everything just a little bit smaller. After you use 120 grit, find some 220 grit and that will give you a nicer finish. Now that we have everything nice and smooth, we're going to use a product called Paste Finishing Wax. In here we have a nice big rag. We're just going to wipe it in there, get a little bit of the wax on our rag. And then we're just gonna make sure to rub that wax everywhere on our project. Once you have it fully applied, you're gonna let that sit for a little bit. And then as it dries, we'll grab another rag and wipe off all of the excess wax. Once our wax has dried for a few minutes, we are gonna take some paper towel and we're gonna wipe off all of the extra wax. And you should be able to feel it if your finger doesn't slide, it kind of grabs, you gotta wipe it off. If your finger slides right across it and it's really shiny, then you have wiped off all the extra wax. When you're all done putting on your wax and you have wiped off all the excess, your parts are really slippery. They should slide together very easily now. There is your wonderful wooden puzzle. Take a picture of it, share it on canvas. Also complete the ruler reading self-evaluation. And you are done, take it home. Congratulations.